this year's Harold Keen Special Award for 2023 is Diane Bell. <laughs> Diane, why don't you make your way up here while I tell the folks a little bit about you. For 28 years, Diane Bell wrote stories that were upbeat, offbeat, and captured the heartbeat of San Diego. 4,000 columns, they say, all stories of human interest, behind the scenes, events and happening, some humorous episodes, some embarrassing episodes, and it featured ordinary people doing really extraordinary things. Anyone featured in a Diane Bell column was special because the story she told and the reporting she has done over the years, over these many, many years, have inspired a lot of us who are in the business and out of the business, and it helped make San Diego, I believe, the special place we all know that it is. Diane Bell, congratulations. Well, thank you very much, Cliff. I appreciate that. When I think back on all the assignments I had as a reporter over the years, there's certainly one that I could never do today, and that was when I posed as a student in San Diego City Schools to do an investigative story. But four decades in journalism seems like an eternity, and that's what I've spent four decades in San Diego covering the stories. Local wordsmith Richard Lederer, who was one of the people I interviewed several times, he points out to how we become more valuable when we age, and he calls it chronologically endowed. And he says, you have silver in your hair, gold in your teeth, stones in your kidneys, lead in your feet, and mineral deposits in your joints, and natural gas in your stomach. <laughs> in other words, Letterer says, we're worth a fortune. So, and we're also totally cool because studies show that body temperature lowers as the decades pass. <laughs> I can't tell you, begin to tell you even, how honored I am to receive this award and as Cliff mentioned, Harold Keene was just such, such a giant in the industry. The Dean of San Diego Journalism, that's quite a title. This award has gone to so many journalists before me who are far more worthy than I am. It's, it's even a little awkward because I use my column to give recognition to San Diegans, and so I feel that um, when I get recognition myself, you know, it's, uh, it's a little embarrassing, but it's wonderful. And it's with a, a little bit of sadness that I accept this after a lifetime of reporting, knowing that our industry is undergoing so many challenges right now, so many changes that are revolutionizing the news business, and in some ways that are good, and in some ways that are not so good. I remember attending the J School at the University of Missouri where my feature writing professor was a tough, rough talking professor and a very talented writer named Tom Duffy. He went around the classroom with a phone book and he asked each person, each student, to stick their finger in that pages of that phone book, which is a vestige of the past now, but, and wherever, whoever's name their finger landed on, they were to come back with a feature story on that person. His theory was that everyone famous, infamous, unknown, had a story. You simply had to dig hard to find that story. And that lesson stayed with me over the years. It was perfect preparation for my columns, which focused on people from all walks of life. Everyone had a story, and I just had to ask enough questions and do enough research to find it. When I inherited the B1 column from Tom Blair, <laughs> in May of 1995, seems like ages ago, I never dreamed that 28 years later, I would still be writing it and connecting with San Diegans in a very special way. As we progress into the world of artificial intelligence, I fear that human touch will be lost. Journalism as we know it will be transformed forever and eventually the word paper won't be part of newspaper. It will be taken out. And the news element, though, will remain. And 
will always need to be investigated and honestly and objectively reported. So I'm speaking, I know, to the choir. I have no need to urge you all to support the fourth estate because you are the fourth estate. Congratulations to everyone who is picking up an award tonight. And um, I'd like to mention that although they're single people that are getting these awards, often many people were involved in, had a role in putting the work together that was behind them. For me, I'd like to thank the late Helen Copley and her client for trusting me and letting me, my voice, tell the stories of San Diegans, along with former UT editor Karen Winter, who provided mentorship and inspiration along the way, as did many of my editors, my copy editors, photo photographers, fellow reporters who passed on tips and story ideas and contacts, to my husband Roy for being a patient soundboard and for picking up some of the family duties and I'd like to thank my son here for coming tonight with a broken ankle. <laughs> so he's sitting at the table. So despite the name on the column having been my name for so many years, producing it was always a team effort and their name should be there as well. In closing, I'd like to mention the local motivational speaker, Ken Blanchard, who was one of the many San Diegans I've interviewed. He urges people never to retire, but tells them to refire to make the rest of the life the best of their life. And so I'm taking his advice to heart. I'm refiring, but I'm also rewiring to keep up with this fast changing world. I'm so grateful for this honor and I wanna thank the Press Club and all the former Harold Keene Award recipients who made it possible. Thank you so much.